We now Thank move. You too. It was lovely. Beautiful. We now move to South Korea and Jennifer. Jennifer, you're joining us from South Korea. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, I, I'm Jennifer and uh, I was just diagnosed with um, type 1 diabetes this year while living in South Korea. And I would like to introduce two groups from South Korea to you now. Um, like I said, we have um, two groups. The first one is the Korean Society of Type 1 Diabetes, the KST1D. And actually our founder, um, Myung Kim, is also um, in the Facebook Live with us today. Um, KSC1D started in 2017. At that time, it was actually illegal in, to import CGMs to South Korea um, because they're considered a medical device and you needed a special license to even import them. So KST1D petitioned and not only got CGMs approved and available to all, they also got it largely funded by the national insurance. Um, yeah, next slide, please. Um, KST1D also has a big community of loopers and is working with the Night Scout project to improve data sharing and access for type ones and parents of type ones. Um, next slide, please. Um, KST1D also has a community forum called Sugar Tree and an open chat room uh, in the Kakao Talk Messenger app for members to support and help each other to share events and news. We also fight against discrimination at work and at schools so that students are not rejected due to their diabetes needs and that the nurses in the schools and the school staff are actually appropriately trained to handle any emergencies as well. Our current goal is to change the expressions used in South Korea where type 1 diabetes is largely known as juvenile diabetes um, or just children's diabetes if it's directly translated. We believe that since not only children are affected by type 1 diabetes, doctors and policymakers should know it by a more inclusive name, um, which will also help raise awareness more that type 1 can be diagnosed at any age. And um, next slide, please. Here are some of our members from our um, last competition from our third anniversary, and you can see our contact details. The second group I would like to introduce to you um, is act was actually only just founded this year in April. Um, that would be the next slide, please. Thank you. And this is the whole people team, and it was formed as an online community mainly due to Corona, and we're using social media to share the life as diabetic athletes. It is a team of exercise professionals and sports enthusiasts who share diet, exercise routines, injections, and blood sugar checks on Instagram. And this is often not talked about in South Korea where the conversation is a lot more, um, people like to hide everything. So being more open in social media um, has helped us a lot. Um, next slide, please. Um, here you can see our team and the different sports that we currently represent in our team. I would just have like certain um, a few introductions that we put on um, Instagram. Um, our aim is to normalize diabetes and to be open about um, type 1 diabetes. Uh, next slide, please. To share to share different approaches to diabetes management in regards to diet and exercise and to inspire people to be active and to show that it is possible to train at any level as type 1 diabetic athletes, whether that is a professional or even just for fun and because you enjoy it. And our motto is turning our weakness into our strength. Uh, next slide, please. <laughs> so these are the two groups that, uh, that are changing the discussion of type 1 diabetes in Korea a lot. KST1D helps to make medication, technology, and support available to all, um, changing policies as we go. And the whole people team helps to normalize diabetes on social media and in sport. And I have included our contact details, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have as well. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to introduce this to you. Jenny, thank you very much. Uh, and I think it's great that you are so active because you joined that organization. You've only been diagnosed a year ago, so you are you're a newbie to the community, but you're already active in South Korea, which is not your home country, of course. You're originally from, from Britain, I believe. So it's great to see that this is going all over the world. And as we have been jumping from Denmark to Uganda to South Korea, coming from India,